Teachers and students can use the GeoBoard app in a variety of ways. When you first open the app, you will see a board. You can choose to change the board into the current one we have now, into a larger board with more points, or into a circular board. You can also add a grid, and then once you click grid, you can add numbers to it. You can choose any of these colors of rubber bands, and all you have to do is drag them to the board, and then select an endpoint to make it longer, or to move it in a different direction. You can duplicate your shapes once you have them. These tools allow you to shade part of the shapes so that you can represent fractions. Students can use the equation tool, or they can use the pen to annotate or draw. Again, if you select any of the rubber bands and hit the trash can, it will delete them, or you can use the arrows to delete the whole board. One way our students used the GeoBoard was to create basic shapes and identify attributes such as four sides and four corners and name the shape. Another way students can use it is to use smaller shapes to compose a larger shape or to decompose a larger shape. So the student started with a six-sided shape and was able to break it into four triangles and two squares. Students can also use this to compare shapes and compare measurement. So this rectangle is shorter and this rectangle is longer. Lastly, you can have students use this to represent fractions. Here, the student cut the rectangle in half and labeled each half. Here, they used rubber bands to cut the rectangle into fourths and label each part as a fourth. They could have also used this to shade one or more of the fraction pieces.